someone is wondering, they're wondering why you haven't been on your Instagram or Facebook. Unread messages not responding. <laughs> That's hilarious. Top of the deck. They've been ignoring or ghost with a karmic or friends. Okay, you have not. This is for somebody. You have not been on your social media platforms. You have not been answering messages or phone calls. Some of y'all could have deleted your Facebook or Instagram. Somebody could have deactivated. Spirit says deactivated. Somebody deactivated their um, IG or Facebook or they're getting ready to. This is somebody that was trying to find your, your social media or they was on it recently. They noticed you ain't been posting. They're trying to be nosy. They try to be nosy to see. This could be somebody you cut off. They try to be nosy, figure out what you got going on in your life right now. You've been ignoring them. Silence. Yeah. This could be somebody that thought they were going to make amends with you or reconcile with you somehow. This is somebody that was trying to cloud your judgment or they had you in some kind of illusions, feeling unbalanced, distorted, frozen, no words, stonewalling. Yeah, they was trying to find you recently or they was on your page or something like that recently. A lot of y'all don't even go on stuff like that anymore. You could be somebody who has Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok or something, but you don't ever go on it. You don't use it no more. Somebody's mad about this. You went through some kind of rebirth relationship change and healing somebody don't want you healing this is somebody that is trying to keep your life off balance or keep you off balance somehow you could have changed a relationship with them or you could have ended out a relationship with them 56 66 and 16 yeah they're fighting off some kind of uh, changes in their life. This is somebody that don't want to focus on themselves. Oh, you guys like, <laughs> you guys like my little, my money, little necklace. I'm wearing this for the Taurus. I'm wearing this for Tauruses. Distorted masculine reversed emotional freedom. You changed. You're somebody who changed. You used to be either a distorted masculine or distorted feminine. Or these could be, yeah, you used to be a distorted masculine or a distorted feminine. You wasn't like your karmic masculine energy, karmic feminine energy before with whoever this is trying to search for you online. You're in a more balanced divine energy. This could be something with the bank or police. Your life could have been like hell or like felt like some kind of war. This could be somebody that was a snake or was after your finance money. This could be something about the military. Some of you guys was always having to uh, work a, work for somebody else or work a job, clocking in and out. Some of you guys are 
getting ready to quit a job and start your own business or you're self-employed. Somebody was doing the same stuff over and over, like running into the same brick wall over and over, but you stopped that. This is most likely you're a divine masculine. I feel like they're possibly looking for a divine masculine on their Instagram or Facebook. Emotional freedom. You don't really feel tied up to this person like that. It feels you haven't been on social media and like you just feel like a lot of weight lifted off of you or something. You're feeling more light. This is somebody that was holding on, pulling on to your energy and stuff. You pulled your energy back. You started reaching for the stars. You started getting more woke, more wise. You could be looking down on this person like you don't respect them no more. Some of you guys, it could be snowing where you're at. You moved on with your life. The magic of the Koalene Druth. Cautious, secrecy, wary. Yeah. You're secretive and stuff. Wonder voyage, crossing deep waters, pilgrimage, journey of the soul. You sailed away. You guys could be 45. Some of y'all could have a nine year old. You've been diving deep into your, you've been diving deep in your life. You're not as shallow or surface level as you used to be. This person on this card is like, shh. It ain't none of their business. You feel like it ain't none of their business. You're somebody who's private or now you're private or introverted. You guys could be even like, I'm sensing a lot of y'all are like antisocial and like you don't give two fucks. Like you don't even care. Like you just keep your circle small. It ain't nobody's business. Oh, this is like the devil reversed, nature reversed. You're not attached to this person no more. This could be somebody from your past. Some of y'all are enjoying some kind of celebration or party. This is somebody that was trying to trap you. Somebody was trying to trap you guys. It's a glare on there. Yeah. They're watching you. I really feel like for a lot of y'all, this is a man. Either a man's trying to find your, your Instagram, your IG, or your Facebook. Ace of Swords. They could have messaged you or DM'd you. A lot of y'all like, you're like, yeah, this is clarity. This is somebody that's like trying to watch her every move. Like every little thing, like internet stalkers. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Five of Wands reversed. King of Athens. This is somebody that was bringing a lot of problems to your life, a lot of drama to your life, possibly was competing. You got woke, you, you're, you could be reading something, studying something, researching. This could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. 
some masculine energy. You could be staying home a lot more now. This person's in the home. Writing. You guys could be have other like hobbies you're working on. Could be writing letters. I barely, I very rarely use this deck. You're more wise. You, I feel like you cut over this is off. They was trying to spin illusions in your life or make you feel crazy or something. They was trying to block or stop your healing. Some kind of relationship change. Seven of chalices. You freed yourself. They're confused. Somebody is totally confused. Now they now they're confused. They was confusing you in the past. You learned to stay on the low or be on the low or something. Stay low or lay low. Ace of Wands. You may be working on something creative. You're getting started or about to start something, about to do something, about to take action. Something's about to happen or take off for you or somebody's about to take off, something like that. The sun. Six of chalices. This could be somebody from your past wondering this. You could be involved with a, a, a ex or a, a reconciliation. You're just healing and balanced, emotionally balanced. There may be something about like a, a homecoming or, or some kind of reunion. You're happy now that you're not on IG or Facebook. This could be you and somebody else happy. You guys could have kids or you're too focused on your kids or children. Excuse me. Some of you guys, this is a sibling or some family members or some past friends trying to figure out like, what's going on? They're confused. Why are you not on Instagram? They're trying to create some kind of blockage. 10 of Athams coming out sideways. You could have um, blocked them. Some of y'all could have blocked them on Instagram or Facebook or you're getting ready to. They betrayed you, did you dirty, did you wrong. You severed ties with them. They're not understanding that or something. This could have been a witch. The witch. You're doing your own thing. Somebody is, this, this king of Athens energy is like, I'm doing my own thing. I focus on my own life. Yeah, you're releasing over this. Is this person could be greedy or something? Somebody could have been greedy. Or clinky, trying to hold on to something. Some of y'all are not answering the, the door. You don't even answer your door no more to them. You don't even, some of y'all won't even let nobody in your house no more. They're feeling insecure, confused. You're in the Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Somebody may be going somewhere or taking action or getting ready to say something, getting ready to speak out. Some of y'all could have some, uh, a teenager. Some of y'all are so focused on your own family dynamics, your own marriage, family, kids. You could be spending time with grandparents or your parents. Yeah. Somebody will focus on their kids and stuff building and just enjoying life, working. You may need
need to possibly speak out and let them know like you moved on and stuff. Something about good news and they're not okay. This could have been about stability. They cannot accept something. They're not okay. They're unstable or something like that. They could have possibly tried to message you. Spirit says you want them to stay away from you. Somebody's possibly getting ready to yell at somebody or something like that. This could be a feminine that you want to stay away from you. They're still in their distorted karmic energy spirits telling me who were this is trying to find you online. Somebody's about to be shook. Something with love, something with reunion, and something with a foe. Okay, you could you could have reunited with somebody. That's possibly why. You could have got back together with somebody and, and shut down your Instagram or Facebook. Yeah. Somebody's about to be in the night of swords and tell somebody something. Somebody's like, somebody's like, stay away from me. Stay away from me or stay away from us or something. This is the seven of cups. They're trying to force you to stay tied to them. This is possibly a feminine. This is the person that was trying to confuse you. You're like, no, stay, stay away. Stay away from me. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to stay, I'm not, I'm not trying to be tied to you. Move on. Quit checking on me. You're unavailable. Some of you guys, they try to wrap you up in a false case. False court case. This rejection is only God's protection. You might need to tell them that. You might need to speak out and tell them. Oh, they're jealous just came out. They keep looking at your pictures. The power they thought they had over you is being stripped from them. I was so accustomed to being their puppet. Yeah, this person was controlling you. Somebody says, I'm so full of regret. This is a jealous person that betrayed you in the Ten of Swords or that you severed ties with. Someone says they love your beauty. They love your beauty and fashion and the effort you put into your appearance every day. So somebody from your past. This could be, I feel like this is somebody from your past that thought you guys was going to reconnect or make amends, have things be how they used to be. They crossed you. They did something really bad or lots of things possibly with the Ten of Swords. Some foe was trying to reunite with you. It's over. Death, you changed. You went, the, you went through a transformation. This could be a Scorpio trying to get a hold of you, or you could be a Scorpio. Six of Cups, strong Scorpio energy. Yeah. You're possibly never going to reunite with that person or, or never going to visit them or something. You could have known this person since you was a kid or a past friend or something. Yeah. This is somebody that bases everything in their life off of like what's going on, on Instagram and Facebook. Like they got another life besides that. <laughs> That's sad. For a storage adverse judgment, something was exposed. They're not okay. This person is going crazy or mentally unstable because you're not on Facebook or Instagram. 